what's out there in terms of the patent estates. Um, it, it's just there's fewer women. And it's not that women haven't been behind some of those inventions. I'm not sure that they've always been recognized as being behind some of those inventions. And there's some really famous cases of that, of, of women who sort of worked under men or alongside of men who probably didn't get the credit that they deserved if you look back in history. I am a biologist and I started working for Euroimmune Germany after finishing my PhD in biochemistry in 2012. Together with my colleagues, I implemented our so-called UFO project in 2013 and have been working on it ever since. The aim of this project is the identification of novel autoantigens and we have a strong focus on the brain. We use blood samples from patients suffering from various neurological conditions. What I'm the most passionate about is to create something that makes a difference in people's life and in the next stages just outlives me. And as being a woman makes the path more challenging, so when it hopefully it actually happens, it's going to be more rewarding. I wouldn't be able to have completed this patent work and I wouldn't be where I am without the help of my team. So by giving us the resources and giving us the ability to go to conferences and speak with customers and have our own innovation challenges within Park and Elmer, those are what drive us to be a little bit different and to twist the knob and try and see things from a different angle. The education on the field of biotechnology and its use in in vitro diagnostics has provided a good basis for my career. And in Finland, both women and men have equal educational opportunities. I've been very happy with my choice to pursue a career in the STEM fields. It's been very rewarding and challenging. And um, at the same time, I don't think that there is any one-size-fits-all advice that can be given. And just that I think um, you should be true to yourself and uh, try to foster confidence in the skills that are more naturally suited to yourself. What draws me into engineering is that, in my mind, the best engineers are also scientists, inventors, entrepreneurs, and they have the interest and skill sets to roll up the sleeves to really get things done. Women in engineering is a true minority. The challenges to overcome as a woman engineering graduate is how to gain trust from employers who often believe that Better engineers are guys and not girls. As a woman in STEM, well, first of all, I've been very fortunate. I've had excellent managers throughout my career, very supportive. My coworkers are fantastic and my customers are just great. Um, the, some of the obstacles, you know, as a young woman back then, I have it a little bit less now, uh, is, is uh, always having to prove yourself. I feel that that when I, I always had to show confidence, I always had to prove myself. And, but the positive thing about that, to, I, I needed the confidence for my product line, for my, for my science. Some of the advice I would have for women entering the STEM field is to get some practical experience using tools, both computer and physical tools. Take all the training that's offered to you, training you think you might need, things you think you don't know as much about as maybe your male counterparts seem to, to know or to have learned. Be confident in the work that you do. Be comfortable defending yourself. Uh, if you don't think your team is headed in the right direction, uh, push back and have good data to back it up. Don't give up if people don't listen to you. Keep at it. 
Eventually they will. When you look at innovation, and people have studied innovation across many different companies, and if you look at those companies that have been the most successful at innovating, they've been successful because they brought a diversity of different viewpoints around the table when they're thinking of new ideas and, and trying to develop new innovative solutions. So having different mindsets, different viewpoints um, is important. Thank you.